bring in former Bush 43 Deputy Chief of Staff Carl Rove. Carl, great to have you here with all your experience. Um, let me ask you this. Is it really all about the economy, stupid, as James Carville famously said? Well, in a deba presidential debate, what people want to walk away first and foremost with is a sense of, is this person up to the job? So this, this is really the conundrum that both candidates face. Yes, they'll talk about illegal immigration, they'll talk about the economy, they'll talk about other issues, but the main thing that people want to walk away with is a sense of, are you up for the job for the next four years? So uh, this, this is a challenge for both men. Uh, at, at last week, I wrote in the Wall Street Journal in my column uh, about the debates, and I did so after talking to five Republicans who'd been involved in presidential debate preps and three Democrats. And what was interesting was every one of them had a question about which Trump is going to show up. Uh, this is the big question that Biden has to prepare for. Is it the wild guy that we saw in the first debate in 2020, uh, yelling, interrupting, and so forth? Or is it a calm guy who's laying out his agenda for the future? Biden has to prepare for both of them. And the question for Trump is, we know he's going to be on the attack. The question is, is he going to show any leg on what it is that he wants to do? And that's one of the weaknesses of this Biden attack ad that's out there. It says he has no plan. What if he shows up and says, I want to lower energy prices by drilling and, uh, and I'm all in on all kinds of energy? What if he says, I'm going to control spending, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that? It could be very problematic for the Democrats because this will be highly watched and remembered. And if he comes out and sounds presidential with an agenda, then it's going to undermine the $50 million that the Democrats are going to spend on advertising this month. <laughs> so, Carl, from the uh, Trump campaign point of view, a calm Donald Trump you think would be the winner. Yeah, absolutely, because, look, they're, 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 the whole thing is this is that he's out for revenge. This is all about payback. Uh, you know, he's ugly. Yeah. You know, uh, they'll, 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 they'll dredge that up. And if he's out there sounding like, you know, I got an idea of what I want to do to make America great again, and here it is, that's going to be, that's going to be the, people are going to say, you know what, I think he's up for the job and he knows what he wants to do. The other guy, the incumbent, he's got a bad record, and all he can do is attack the other guy. You know, it's interesting. So much has been made of um, President Biden's cognitive frailties. Um, almost every day we see examples. Um, if any of that comes out in the debate, how damaging could that be? Enormously, because, again, going back to, to the first is, do people look at that, th these two men, and say, I think that one or both of them are up for the next four years? If, if it, it, in my column, I said that, that uh, Biden has to be consistently cognitive. Uh, he's got to go out there and convince us for 90 minutes that he's got what it takes to handle the toughest job on the face of the planet. And if he doesn't, it's over. There's no recovery. Remember, this debate is the earliest presidential debate. And normally, when we have presidential yeah. debates, and, pres and, the fir and the incumbent tends to do bad in the first debate. It happened in 2004 with George W. Bush, happened with Barack Obama in 2012. Uh, we had, you know, a couple of weeks, 10 days or two weeks at most before the next debate. The next debate is 11 weeks from now. So whatever impressions are laid in here are going to stick for a long, long time and maybe all the way through November. Yeah, no pressure, right? Well, I can't wait, I'm just yeah, like anyone none. else, for this thing to get going on Thursday. <laughs> Carl Rove, you, yeah. you never feel the thank pressure. You, Carl, thank you so much.